What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video guys, of course, we're gonna be talking about this big breakout which Bitcoin had. I said in yesterday's video, if you did in fact watch that, that we should be having a nice breakout to the upside most likely that did in fact happen and i also said we should be breaking to this seventy seven hundred dollar level in that area which did also happen we're going to be talking about the bitcoin price and exactly where i think it's going to be going next um, in today's video we are also going to be talking about my femex trade and how unfortunately that got stopped out i'm going to be bringing you full transparency on that i'm going to show you my profit and exactly where i got stopped out on that trade and we're also going to take a look at a very very interesting article about how the bank of japan Japan signals interest in unlimited quantitative easing and what effect that could have on the Bitcoin price. We're then finally going to be taking a look at the correlation between the Bitcoin hash rate and the price history. So a lot of interesting stuff coming up in today's video guys. Without any further ado, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Thank you for joining me again for another video. I really would love to reach that 1k like target, so you guys know what to do. Also, if you do enjoy my content and my daily uploads, consider subscribing and ticking that notification bell so you get notified when I post my next video. As always guys, if you did want to enter to win the Tracer storage device or the equivalent in Bitcoin, simply drop a comment down below saying anything and you'll be entered to win that. So without any further ado guys, let's get on with the video. It's no real secret, Bitcoin price had a nice pump up yesterday, which is extremely nice. Um, actually, uh, I did say in my video yesterday that we should be having a pump up to the upside, which is very nice. Now, of course, I'm not always right when I see these things, but it was very much looking like we could potentially have a pump up. We did, in fact, pump to highs of around about 77.60, which is really, really nice. Um, we couldn't quite get above that point and we did pull back down to around about um, the $7,400 level. So where do I think the price is actually going to be going next? Well, if we go over to the daily chart and let's have a look on that, if my internet would decide to load. So let's take a look. I think honestly, we could be going up to this um, $8,400, $8,500 level if, and that's a big if guys, if we can break this $75, $7,600 level and stay above it. If we take a look right now at that level, and um, we can actually see we are having a little bit of a struggle to break this level. And that's fairly to be, be expected. We see it here, this was a solid level of support before we have this massive breakdown. And even back um, here, this was a solid level of resistance. Here, it was a solid level of support. Going even further back into 2019, we can see this was also a solid level of support there. So it's no question that it is going to be difficult to break this level here. This 76 to $7,700 level, it will be fairly difficult for us to break. But guys, if we can break it, it will actually be very, very interesting to see where the price is going to go. So guys, pulling up onto the chart, we have the 200 day moving average in yellow here, and we have the 50 day moving average here in blue. We can see that we're actually extremely close to this 200 day moving average. We're only 5% away from it. Now, if you've been a long term viewer of the channel, you'll know that I really, really like the 200 day moving average. It's a great signal for when we are actually in a bull market or when we are actually going to be start the, the price is going to start pumping. We can see when we are above the 200 day moving average, um, the price action is actually extremely bullish. So I really, really would love for us to break above this 200 day moving average and close above it on the daily chart and weekly chart if we can. That would be absolutely amazing. Not only that guys, but we did actually see a nice bounce here from that 50 day moving average, which I was telling you to keep an eye on back here on April the 9th when we did in fact get rejected from it. The 50 day moving average is a huge, huge moving average indicator and it always shows signs of resistance and support. Here we saw a massive sign of resistance and we did get rejected on the upper level of the symmetrical triangle and we came down to the lower level. Then we bounced above it in a bullish fashion, tested the upper level of that triangle, came back down, tested the bottom, coincided with the test of the 50 day moving average. And then what did we see? Well, we saw a nice price skyrocket, which is very, very nice. This 200 day moving average right here, if I can draw a better circle, that would be nice, is gonna be a really, really big factor for the Bitcoin price. Yes, if we can um, break above it, we will, we will be testing this $8,500 level. I wouldn't be surprised if we would see some form of maybe a little pullback um, 
pretty much always guys when we have these runs in price is followed by some form of a pullback i just hope that pullback can come after we cross this 7700 hundred dollar level and the pullback can in fact come back down to the 7700 hundred dollar level so definitely keep that in mind when you are trading guys um for now i am not in any trades uh, i'll update you on my themex position but before i do guys if you did want to join themex and trade and you are a more experienced trader they pretty much have the best deposit uh, across the board right now with exchanges if you deposit it is only only 0.2 bitcoin to your trading account using my link below um, you will actually get a bonus of $112. If you don't use my link, you won't get the full bonus of $112. So if you did want to support the channel and get an extra bonus, the link will be down there. And that's a 0.2 deposit to your trading account. So my stop loss was actually placed. We can see here on the, the screen, um, I was in a contract around $15,000, um, 0 0.18 um, 38 Bitcoin was the actual profit that I that closed or the realized profit sorry was 0 0.18 Bitcoin I believe this is around 1400 to 1500 dollars profit not exactly sure um, if you did see my Instagram story yesterday I was up over two thousand dollars profit on this trade however I did in fact set a stop loss when I went to bed and uh, guess what happened the stop loss unfortunately triggered just it literally only just triggered I set my stop loss to uh, around about here somewhere like here 1460 1462 something like that and unfortunately the stop loss did trigger now my reasoning behind this stop loss was simply because I didn't want us to um, pump up in price and then have a big correction um, back down here so I wanted to try and lock in some profits which is a very smart thing to do and you should definitely be doing that unfortunately my stop loss did trigger so rather than that two thousand dollar profit I got I only, only got, I say only, but it's still a great profit, uh, 0.1835 Bitcoin profit, which is very, very nice um, without a shadow of a doubt. So I will definitely update you if I do want to, or if I'm going to enter any more trades, I'll update mainly the trade calls first. I didn't post this on the trade calls simply because it was a very risky trade to take. And I kind of took it on the spur of a moment thing. Um, so that's why I didn't update the trade calls. However, I will be updating my trade calls if I do enter any more positions. And then I'll let you know, after on the channel um, about the profit on that. So that's the, the Themex guys on my trade. It was a nice trade, um, a really nice profit. If you did want to join, it's a 0.2 Bitcoin deposit and you get $112 for free. I just wanted to be as transparent as possible. Um, I did in fact get stopped out of, my, out of my trade, but the stop was a profitable stop. Let's take a look at this article in today's video. The Bank of Japan signals interest in unlimited quantitative easing. This is really, really interesting, and um, yeah, let's let's cover it. In the U.S. alone, 26 million workers have filed for unemployment over the past five weeks. On a corporate level, research firms are projecting trillions of dollars of losses in corporate revenues. This is what I don't understand because you take a look at the stock market, and for example, Tesla is still above $700. Uber, I believe, is still around $27 to $29. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. Um, when are these prices going to be coming down? I am waiting by the day to enter a position into the stock market, but the prices are just not coming down, and it's really frustrating. Um, anyway, it's no surprise then that central banks and governments around the world have gone into overdrive in an attempt to save people, corporations, and entire um, corporations and entire corporations. It goes on to say that the Bank of Japan, BOJ, um, Central's bank, Central Bank confirmed this trend today. The BOJ is looking to enable an unlimited purchase of Jap Japanese government bonds to try and boost the economy. It also is looking to expand its quantitative easing program to double down on corporate bonds and commercial paper purchases. This is crazy, uh, crazy news and exactly why we need Bitcoin. Um, I believe I covered, I may not have covered it, but actually over in China on the Chinese equivalent of Twitter, um, Bitcoin Bitcoin halvening was actually like the number six trending, even though it's pretty much banned there. So it just shows the power of the people and the power of Bitcoin. That's um, that this simple headline confirms the confirms the current system is completely broken. Central banks are weapons of economic mass destruction. No sense, no limits, no exit strategy. Let me know down the go below in the comments if you agree with what the central banks are doing with the quantitative easing or you think it's only going to devalue currency and hopefully inflate the price of Bitcoin, which would be really good. By letting me know your thoughts down below, guys, you'll be entered to win this Tracer storage device. Um, basically, goes on to say the sentiment of crypto... Uh, 
of the sentiment growing that crypto assets, which are decentralized and relatively scarce in comparison to fiat money, stands to benefit from this trend of the quantitative easing. A former Goldman Sachs ex executive and former hedge fund manager, um, he says he sees a serious chance that we'll see the failure in our very system of money, um, or at least a collapse in the current financial architecture. I personally would enjoy this, um, as Bitcoin no doubt would moon if this happened. Crypto is a solution and Bitcoin will dramatically affect the shift from a fiat system to digital ecosystem. We already see countries testing digital currency and looking into that. Um, if that starts to happen more often, I think Bitcoin will in fact grow in price. He added that crypto asset um, has the potential to reach $100,000 in the coming two years. Um, that is definitely on par with the stock to flow model that we all know and love and even went as far to throw out a one million dollar upper price bound which is crazy and will be absolutely amazing so that is that article moving on finally bitcoin hash rate versus price history this is a very interesting chart and we can show um, it basically shows us that the uh, the hash rate in the light blue lags behind the Bitcoin price, which is something we already knew anyway. This is not really anything new. However, it also shows that the hash rate doesn't really react too crazily to these Bitcoin um, prices and the actual dips in the Bitcoin price. We can see here a massive dip in the Bitcoin price and a downtrend from that 2017 high. And the, the hash rate is still slowly climbing. Um, it's a very, very lagging um I wouldn't say indicator, but um, piece of analysis, the hash rate. So we can see it's still climbing here. However, the market was absolutely tanking back then in 2017. Again, we had a massive increase. This was, I believe, um, July or June of last year when we saw that massive peak up to around 14K and it was still just steadily climbing. We can see here when we do have these massive increases from like $4 to up to, I believe this was about $1,000 um, back in 2013. We did see a massive increase. However, um, it shows a kind of lagging correlation. I just thought it was interesting to bring this up in today's video as I saw it browsing Reddit and I thought it was a fairly interesting piece of information. So guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope we can, in fact, break above this $1,600 to $1,700 level, go up, test the 200 day, break above it and test this $8,500 level. Yes, they might, that may not happen. And I have said in today's video, we could well see a rejection from this $7,600, $7,700 level and a pullback to around about $7,300, $7,400. That would be fairly expected. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. As always, if you were interested in trading and you more are a more experienced trader, check out Femix. It will be linked down below. Using my link only, you will get a deposit bonus of $112 if you deposit 0.2 Bitcoin or more. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.